They really do. They really do. So... Uh, like yesterday was a standard drawing day. We got... I started chapter five. Whoop whoop. Because um, I've actually finished penciling out chapter four and I'm just about to start inking it. Uh, um, I'm very proud of how the resin's starting to look now that I've decided. I'm so glad I made the change from using markers to going back to good old screen tone. I was never very good at black and white, but I think I've, I've improved and I'm glad that it's finally starting to match up with Fallen as well. Um, but yeah, so I've got 20 pages to ink for chapter four. Um, the only thing I need to do is screen tone the last sort of, I think it's 10 pages, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, last 10 pages of chapter 3. Um, but that's a good backlog, so once chapter 3 is ready, it'll go up on to Pastic, and then chapter 4 needs doing. And it features all the little cameos from the competition. Uh, where is she? Oh! There she is. So, yeah, that features the, the little cameos and stuff like that. So, I'm going to start inking. Because uh, I have work tonight, so I'm using up my time as best I can, I suppose. Blah, blah, blah. Right, I'm gonna drink my tea and then crack on. You know, I think one of the best things about me switching to black and white and doing screen tones is um, I take my time with it now, um, whereas the first couple of chapters. I look back and I was like, I was lazy with backgrounds because I could just fill it with marker and there were no details and things like that. So I'm, re I'm really glad that I switched because I'm making a lot more of an effort than I did before. And because this story is so special to me personally, it's kind of nice that I'm taking the actual time to do it the way I see it in my head, whereas before I was very, like, Bubbles and Eliza was my first experience with screen tone and I, I know it was really not poorly done because I put so much effort into it, but I've learned so much more since that point that it's, you know, it's, it's just, I've improved so much and I think that's what this needed. I'm, I mean, I look at Caro, how I used to draw him at the start and how I draw him now, and yeah, my baby has grown. My man-child has grown. Ah, I'm so proud. <laughs> yeah, I know I gush like that every so often, but yeah, as you can see, I've restocked on tea. And then I'm gonna get back to it. So yeah, one page down, 19 to go. So second page, uh, I've kind of come to this thing where um, I've started counting how many pages that I actually do on days when I pencil and when I ink and when I screen tone and stuff. Um, I can pencil about six pages on a drawing day, which is generally a Tuesday. Um, myself and Kirsty, we <clears throat> we do a drawing day on a Tuesday to make sure we get our work done for the week. Uh, inking, I could probably do two pages a day um, because again, it's take my time with it now um, before I go to work kind of thing. It's the screen toning that takes me forever. I hate screen toning so much. Well I don't hate it but it's just a faff. But it looks good so it's worth the effort I suppose. And because of course Kara is darker skinned so he needs to be screen toned. But I think I use a lot more black than Kirsty does so that kind of changes things a little bit. Not changes things, but it helps. <laughs> but yeah, toning. Bleh. <laughs> Done. <sighs> I have to go to work soon. But, like, I messed up his hand really badly here. <laughs> he did originally have four fingers, and then I botched it up, so I tried to cover it, and it was a bit of an epic fail, so I'm gonna need to fix that on Manga Studio. But, yeah, two pages done today, so that's good few more done. Whoop. Also, can we just talk about the, the work you guys are actually doing? 
for Portal Place because the stuff that's coming out is amazing. Guys, I'm so stoked for this. You have no idea. I can't wait. It's not too late to join in, people. So uh, make sure that you do. But yeah, Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs>